Hi, Group One. It is the Sun Sage, and thank you guys so much for tuning into your next pick a card reading. I want to thank you guys so much for liking the video, subscribing to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning here, welcome back. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, don't forget to take a look at the exclusive content and links in the description box, and also um, how you can become a Patreon. That link is also in the description box for exclusive of content, especially because the July guidance reading is up and it was very interesting. So uh, let's go ahead and get you guys started into your next pick a card, which is how does your person feel about you right now? I am taking a look at your person, their energy and what they feel about you currently. All right. Their most recent feelings for you. So um, whoever you are thinking of connected to and a connection with, that is who I want to see what their feelings are for you at this moment. This can particularly be insightful for those of you that haven't heard from this person or you're going through something and you would really like to know what their unspoken feelings are. All right. So group one, let's go ahead and get you started. You were drawn to the honey calcite. All right. And I always encourage you guys to take a look at the meaning of the crystals you're drawn to, to see why you may have been drawn to it. And you also have the dark wood tarot, okay? So first, I want to um, get some themes out here that can give us some insight into your person's current feelings. Group one, let's take a look at some of these themes here from your person to you. How they feel about you. How does your person feel about you right now? All right, big changes. Okay, how do they feel about group one? Keeping distance. All right, how does your person feel about you, group one? Talk it out. All right. And we have sweet reminder, okay? So um, I feel like your person feels how they feel about you right now. They could feel like you change, right? They could feel like the distance that you guys are experiencing or have experienced has sparked some sort of change in you. They could feel like you guys need to talk, but that you're not receptive right now. Let's see what the tarot messages say, and then we'll get into those themes. All right, how does your person feel about you right now? Group one. Okay, nine of cups. How does group one's person feel about them right now? Let's try that again. All right, I'm going to keep these like this because they flipped out very obviously in the reverse. Five of pentacles in the reverse and the tower in the reverse. And we also have the seven of cups. All right, and let's grab one more for you guys. Okay, we have the king of pentacles and overall how your person feels about you energetically is the four of cups. So I feel like this person is trying not to think about you. If you feel ignored by this person, that definitely feels like something that's coming through. Um, again, the reason they could feel this way is because they feel like you're doing this to them. They could feel like you've changed. They could feel like the distance. Um, there's something about um, them possibly feeling like you're growing apart from them, like you may not have feelings for them anymore. And so this person feels right a little left out, right? The four of cups. It feels like this person and um, how they feel about you. Things may have gotten a little stagnant in your relationship. They may have even they may even feel like things have gotten somewhat boring. You guys don't do the exciting things you used to do, or you don't have the same spark you used to have. So overall, it's coming through that this person feels like something has shifted in your relationship that has impacted how they feel about you. All right. We started with big changes, and so how they feel about you is that there's been a shift and a change and how they felt about you maybe a few months ago, a few weeks ago, maybe a year or a few years ago to how they feel about you right now. This is indicating that however they once felt about you, they don't feel right now. That could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. That could be a sign that you're growing and changing in a good way and they're not adjusting, or it could be a sign that both of you are growing and changing, but it's creating some distance between you. So I do go deeper into that in the extended, all right? So keeping distance here for how your person feels about you. Um, 
they kind of feel like you may be a little bit bothered by their presence. Um, they, they're trying to keep their distance right now. And so that could be because they don't feel welcome in your life. They don't feel like you guys, again, are having the same spark vibe connection you once did. And so there's a strong energy coming through that this person is trying to separate, distance themselves from you in order to avoid some sort of confrontation or drama. Um, and so they are keeping their distance. I feel like they they believe that is what you want or they're getting the feeling from you that you don't feel like receptive or welcome. And so they're not going to put themselves in your space. OK, so talk it out. How this person feels about you is they're willing to talk. They're willing to, to, to sit down or to, you know, pick up the phone or whatever the, the circumstance is. They just want to have a conversation. They feel like you're worthy of that. So that means you're still important to them for how they feel about you. There's something they definitely feel is worth discussing, something important that feels like they want to to, to hash it out. They want to communicate, um, you know, what they're feeling. And so, um, you know, they feel like they want to talk. They feel how they feel about you is that you could possibly want to talk, but you're both maybe strategically sort of just staying away. Or again, the, the relationship, the vibe is off. Something's not the same. And so talking is something that, you know, is desired, but nobody's really working towards in the connection. And so um, how they could feel about you with sweet reminder, this person definitely is nostalgic over you. Again, they still care about you. You're still important to them. They have good memories with you there. Again, because some changes have happened, things may not be the same, including feelings, but there's a reminder here that they once were great. Things were once amazing between you or things were once very promising between you. So this person may be more focused on the past feelings rather than some solutions to get you guys moving forward. But as far as how they feel about you, I feel like you are a sweet reminder of, you know, soulmate connections, of love, of something that felt really good to them that maybe didn't see See completion or maybe didn't reach its full potential, but it's still something here that they feel like they, they still believe is, is they're hopeful about, um, or is it, it has some, some, um, it still has some potential to it. So again, I take a look at all of those in the extended. I go deeper and clarify what those uh, messages are about. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the tarot, the nine of cups. Okay. How this person feels about you is kind of like they're almost feeling that um, they can't believe they met someone like you, right? They can't believe they were able to deeply connect to someone like you. And I do feel like this nine of cups is coming through almost as a past tense energy, mainly because I feel the gap between you. And I also feel like this person is trying to focus on the good stuff and the connection still, or the good things that took place between you so that they don't become angry or resentful. So the nine of cups feels like they're staying in some what of a comfort zone when it comes to their feelings. Um, and so that is when they're thinking about better days between you. They're thinking about text messages you used to send. They're thinking about communication y'all used to have. Um, how they could feel about you is that, you know, you're their deepest desire. You were everything that they wanted and then they had you, right? Um, they were able to have this relationship with you or this connection with you and it felt perfect. The nine of cups um, is that sign of satisfaction and comfort and success on some level. And so how they feel about you is that you are somebody that they really, 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 really wanted and got to experience. So let's go ahead and clarify that nine of cups for how they feel about you. Group one is the two of swords. And now they feel like they don't have that anymore. Um, this person feels like y'all's relationship is um, either winding down or there's been some big block that's creating an ending uh, scenario here. Um, how they feel about you is the feeling, again, this is a past tense, right? One, the feelings they once had, nine of cups, something's blocking them feeling that way right now. They definitely had an emotional connection to you. They may have possibly like... Um, not been seeing this relationship in a realistic way, a practical way. 
Um, sometimes that's when a person is expecting things of you or expecting you to, to accept or behave in certain ways. It's just not realistic to human nature. But there's been some sort of blockage for sure when it comes to their feelings. Um, somebody may have even come in between you. What's this two of swords about for how they feel about you? Or you they may feel like you let someone come in between y'all. Um, what's this two of swords with the nine of cups, the, the six of pentacles for how they feel? So this is where I get the sense that they still have a level of respect for you. Um, it's like how they feel about you. They feel like you still deserve kindness. They feel like you still deserve cordial, cordial interaction. But, um, that's who of swords is, is, is very strong. And it feels like they're disconnected from the romantic, like lovey feelings they once had. And now there's a sense, eight of cups, that it's, it's, it's over, right? There's a sense that, you know, you guys can't have that right now or you can't have it again. So I don't feel like they want beef with you or conflict or drama. I felt that very strongly. They're willing to talk, but I also feel that with the six of pentacles, um, there's a sense that it almost feels friendshipy, like friendship vibes. Um, and so I feel like your person, I feel like what's coming through with their feelings is that they're kind of matching energy. Again, they feel distance in your energy. They feel disassociation. They feel boredom from you. They feel like you're not interested. And so they're kind of giving that same thing back. And what's really happening, look, four of cups on both sides, right? Your whole, your overall energy for how they feel about you was the four of cups. And so to have that on both sides, it's like rep representing how you both feel about one another and the fact that both of you are in a space where it feels like I'm not satisfied with how things are anymore. And so I'm just going to like leave it alone. So they could feel like being still being good to you, still like treating you with respect, but like maybe romantically something is is not there anymore. All right. So the five of pentacles in the reverse. Um, I feel like the five of pentacles in the reverse is saying that how this person feels about you is that um, there's a little bit of frustration coming from this. It feels like they misunderstood something or there was some sort of disagreement about something that they're realizing it wasn't worth you guys sort of like ending things over or disconnecting over why is this five of pentacles in the reverse here how they feel about you though is that i think they are tired of being in the doghouse they are tired of again that's what that misunderstanding whatever it was that separated you guys it feels like this is the the acknowledgement right here that it wasn't worth it it wasn't worth losing you over it wasn't worth not having you this person feels like um Maybe they thought you weren't understanding them or maybe they thought you weren't like understanding what they needed from you. And now they're seeing that you did and they want that back. What's the five of pentacles in the reverse here for how they feel? Yeah, they've learned since the separation with the princess of pentacles that something wasn't that deep. It wasn't that it wasn't ser that serious. It wasn't worth, you know, you guys not being close again over. It wasn't worth you guys sort of um separating from one another. This person really feels like there was um a lack of healthy communication that they want to still be able to prove to you that they can exhibit. I feel like how they feel, again, this is with that communicating and wanting to talk energy. Um, I think somebody said something they didn't mean in this. For some reason, it feels like there's something about something that was said or done um, that that your person almost feels like they wish they could turn it around. For some of you, you may wish you didn't say something about them being worthless or maybe feeling like um, they needed to, to, to finally get a piece of your mind. And maybe you said something that made them feel very low. I, I just feel a harshness with that five of pentacles in the reverse and wanting to reverse action, wanting to go, I wish I hadn't have left you out in the cold in that moment. Um, they could feel like, 
I'm kind of picking up they could feel like you owe them an apology, but for definitely for some of you, they could feel like they owe you an apology. That's a lot of what the, the space is about right now and the lack of communication. You are waiting for an apology and they could be waiting for one too. They feel like that's the one thing that is stopping you guys from getting back together. They feel like they're going to patiently wait for something, some communication from you, <laughs> justice. Yeah, this is very strongly about um, stubbornness, okay? This is about stubbornness right now. The five of pentacles in the reverse is that at some point you both felt like the other wasn't hearing you, wasn't comprehending, um, wasn't accepting you for who you were. The princess of pentacles and justice is if we can just talk about it, maybe if you apologize, we can like work on it. So both of you seem to want an apology. Both of you seem to want the other to fix it in a way that feels a, a little bit impractical because um, it it is showing up with justice. Overall, your person feels like they may understand that they kind of started this they started something and you were just responding or reacting to it. And so I have the six of cuts at the bottom um, feeling like in this energy, how they feel about you is if they could go back in time, go back to the nearer past, they would have changed how they said something, why they said something, or they have a strong desire wanting that moment where you said something or you did something that was hurtful to them. They wish it could change. This person does feel like if you guys just talk though, how they feel about you, because they still look at you with great importance, right? So they feel like if you guys could just sit down and have some type of conversation, both of you would not have to feel alone or left out in the cold by the other. They feel like that's how that's that could solve y'all situation here. So the tower in the ver in the reverse again, I feel like how they feel about you is that there is a matter that happened, something that took place. It was a big deal. It could have completely um, destroyed y'all's feelings for one another, but that doesn't seem to have happened. It just seems like you both may have looked at each other like, mm, maybe you're not the person I thought you were. Maybe you're not the person I thought you were. There's some accusations in this tower in the reverse, but there's also a desire to, again, want to work on it, want to talk it out. How your person feels about you is that they don't want things to get worse. OK, that's why the tower is here in the reverse. That's that shows your impo importance to them. They want to talk. What's the tower in the reverse? The sign. Yep. And then there's the queen of swords. So they do feel like you guys still have a relationship where, look, we may not be on the best terms, but we did experience happiness, love, joy, fulfillment together. We can have that again, right? I feel like how they feel about you is that something definitely came in between you. It feels like a, a misunderstanding. Um, it feels like something where you may have been on different pages about the, the, the pace or the direction of your relationship, but this person still believes that it's fixable, that you can be happy with them again and they can be happy with you again. Some of the standout signs here are Libra, um, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. What's the sun? It's the tower. They may feel like they're running out of time with you to fix this, okay? Um, this feels like almost an energy of they may have tried to reach out to you or talk to you very recently. It didn't go well. And so it's it's getting to the point where reality may be hitting them that it's best to let it go when it comes to you, that it's best to let sort of the tower moment happen. Um, somebody has been trying to avoid a tower moment um, almost by reminding the other person, remember how happy we were. 
remember the good times we had. It doesn't seem to be working. And that's why this person could feel like you lack interest in them. This four of swords has been here at the bottom of the deck a few times. So overall, the energy I'm getting is that you still need time to think about what you want out of this. Um, this person may not be running out of time with you, but their feelings for you are showing that they're trying to be patient. They're trying to be smart and handle this in a calm way. But there's something coming through where they do feel like any moment now, um, you could pop up with somebody else or something could really happen. Um, you know, maybe they, they see something online where it's a reality. It's, it's the reality that you're, you, you moved on. Um, something they've tried to avoid. I feel the seven of cuts for how they feel about you. They're just confused about where you guys are right now. I feel like they're confused about their feelings. They're confused about their emotions at this time. Um, they're definitely not seeing things clearly or they're attempting to, and it's taking more time um, than they wanted it to. I do feel like this person f believes that the time you guys are taking away from each other is really important because I do feel like they're getting closer to a breakthrough moment, but how they feel about you with the seven of cups is, um, am I sure I want this, right? This has been a really challenging experience and connection for your person. Um, I'm, with big changes, I'm even getting something like someone changed their mind about something. Again, I'll go into what you know, that in the extended, but the seven of cups feels like confusion. Your person not sure what to do. Temperance. And so that's why a lot of you haven't heard from them. There's the four of swords again. Overall, how they feel about you is they're chilling right now. Like they're not chilling in a way where they don't care about you. Um, they don't want you, but they don't feel like anything they've tried is, is working or anything they want to try will work. So again, there's just like this need to like clear their head to get their energy more grounded so that they can figure out the way forward. Because I do see and feel where your person wants a way forward. Um, this is somebody who wants as little drama as possible for how they feel about you. Okay. They really do respect you. They really do feel like they have something um, deep with you, something worth salvaging but also they feel like a great deal of respect for you and it's not worth like being petty about um when it comes to this connection what's temperance you have sagittarius showing up knight of cups i think um they didn't trust their feelings for you, right? The seven of cups being confusion shows that when it came to their emotions, they weren't trusting their feelings. They weren't trusting the path. And you guys may have been in a space where I'm too grown for this. Queen of Pentacles. They could feel like you were ready for something more than what they were ready for and that you deserved more, but they weren't ready for things to end or something. And they were trying to like maybe um, compromise and find a way to make things work between you without either of you really technically getting everything that you wanted out of the other. So there's definitely something coming up where how they feel about you is that they may have seemed a little bit um, fickle when it came to your relationship, your connection, which is something that you guys couldn't understand because you're so loyal and you're so solid and you're so ready for it. Um, but I feel like this person needed time. They still do in this energy to really sort out their feelings. But I do feel like the conclusion they're coming to is that you are still worth investing in. The King of Pentacles here for how they feel about you. They feel a great deal of responsibility towards you. Um, the King of Pentacles is mature. Again, they don't want any pettiness with you. However they feel about you, I'm almost picking up. They're not going to let their their more um, maybe vulnerable feelings get the better of them and they do or say something that's disrespectful or hurtful. I also feel where, you know, they're sorry if they did here. What's this King of Pentacles? Yeah, Pisces energy. Also Cancer Scorpio. So five of Swords in reverse. 
perfect. <laughs> they do not want to be petty with you. They do not want to fight with you, group one. They do not. Like, that's like literally the only card in the deck that's in the reverse because I know I put these upright, but that is your person going. I care about you too much. I respect you too much, right? I'm still invested here. I'm not about to like do something, um, you know, uh, in the moment that's going to lose this connection forever. Like this person is really thinking, right? Um, they feel like you guys can work this out. What's this five of swords in the reverse with this king of pentacles? They feel like you're still worth their time. They're just not doing anything about it. Princess of swords. They need to know how you feel first. That's that, that kind of like nosiness where they may be like spying online or like really just trying to like feel if you want the same thing. Cause how they feel about you is like they don't want things to get petty, but they're almost in this sort of like defense mode where they, they're preparing like the dialogue. If you say like, that's what I feel like. I feel like this person has been kind of rehearsing the dialogue, the conversation they plan to have with you at some point. It feels like this relationship is still important. It's still worth salvaging to them. And so they're just going over in their head what to say, what not to say. That's how they feel about you. Like you're sitting in, an, in a position of authority here. Again, this could represent your person's feeling of responsibility towards you, responsibility and respect. But it definitely feels like this emperor is how they feel they have to approach you um, because they respect you so much, right? They can't really um, you know, go the, the petty route. They can't really do something stupid um, that's going to get them like shut out of your life forever. They're trying not e to not even entertain that. And so I'm very curious to see what comes through with these messages a little deeper. So I'm going to clarify all of them. I'm also going to clarify big changes, keeping distance, talk it out, sweet reminder in the extended. Um, I do want to grab, yeah, I want to grab an oracle here to see what comes through and I'll grab more of these in the extended for you guys. Let's grab a message here from your person for how they feel about you. The dragonfly. It says, be lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapt, change. There's that word again and heal. So we're going to go deeper into that in the extended and see why it came through the dragonfly for how they feel about you. Again, I'm also going to take a look at big changes, keeping distance, talk it out, sweet reminder. And I'm going to clarify the tarot messages here. I'm also going to take a look at how your person thinks you feel about them. Group one, um, I'm going to take a look at how they tell people they're feeling about you right now. I'm going to take a look at how they feel about you in in their own words. That is when, when I grab messages from your person, go, how do you feel about group one and see what messages come through? I'm also going to clarify this and grab more of these. So I have a lot I want to cover in the extended group one, but I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I do appreciate you so much. Um, if you are joining me in the extended, I'll talk to you there. But first, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, everyone. Um, if you are interested in a personal reading, um, make sure you check out those details in the description box. And I will talk to you guys soon. Hi, Group 2. It's the Sun Sage. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for liking the video, subscribing to the channel. Um, I appreciate you. Um, thank you so much for checking out the exclusive content, which is still available. The links are in the description box. Um, for those of you that are new here, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. Um, I do appreciate you all so much and thank you for joining me. With your next pick a card, which is how does your person feel about you right now? So I'm going to go ahead and get into that. So um, let's get started, group two. You guys selected the amethyst, okay? And I always encourage you to take a look at the meaning of the crystal or um, stone that you were most drawn to in these readings, all right? There's a reason that you were drawn to that particular crystal. So the amethyst is what has come through. Um, what you guys were drawn to. And I also have the Hocus Pocus Tarot for you guys. All right. So before I get started with the tarot messages, I am going to grab a few things here. 
um, your person, whoever you are thinking of, connected to, dealing with. I want to see how they feel about you right now in this current energy. All right. Um, this can be insightful, especially for those of you that haven't talked to your person. So, you know, um, separated or not, this can be um, helpful for you, but really helpful if you haven't been able to hear um, or, or this person hasn't expressed how they felt about you. So, group two, let's see. How does your person feel about you right now? How does group two's person feel about group two at this time? Thank you so much. <laughs> Big changes. Group one just got this as the first card out as well. Um, Let's see. How does your person feel about you right now? Good karma. Okay. How does group two's person feel? <laughs> Talk it out. And they got this in the same position. Hmm. There's a collective energy showing up here in these readings. You guys are going through a lot of the same things. How does your person? Oh, bad karma. Interesting. So we have big changes, good karma. Talk it out. Bad karma. I'll get to those in a second, but let's get some tarot messages here. This person could have mixed feelings about you right now. Mainly because some of them feel, and we'll see what comes through in the tarot, either like they're willing to risk it all for you for some reason, or there's something about your connection that feels like somebody will get hurt if they show love in you or, or show their feelings for you. But let's see. What's coming through with this tarot for how they feel about you? The <laughs> the nine of potions. All right. That is our nine of cups. Okay, we have the magician. That is so interesting. Group one got a nine of cups. Two was their first card in the first position. Some of you may have been drawn to group one, like you probably couldn't choose between this one and the other one. So there may be messages for you in group one as well. That's kind of like the first time I've felt that judgment. How does your person feel about you right now? The, what is this? The, <laughs> the six of potions. That is our Six of Cups. Thank you. And we also have the Five of Candles. That is our Five of Wands. Hey, man. So there's definitely something about your connection that has this sort of like, this is a make it or break it type uh energy your person has like they gotta do something soon now they gotta make a decision they gotta figure something out because it does feel very strongly like this person connects to you on that soul level um i just think they're kind of unsure about how to go about it and i'll be honest even though there aren't like real expli explicit third-party messages here i feel like it's because there's another person they're trying to consider you guys could be married and they could be like, I can't pursue, you know, I got to hold off. This is the hangman energy, right? I got to hold off on pursuing group two because they got, you know, somebody already. But for a lot of you, this person is in a in a kind of a, a complicated situation where it feels like they're not really able to take the action towards you, but the feelings are there deep, okay? The feelings are there quite heavy here. So overall, how this person feels about you is that this is a very special, powerful connection that's causing them to look at things in their life in a new light, from a new perspective. What can they do about that seems to be where the confusion or a little bit of the hesitance is, okay? So 
then changes. I feel like you've changed this person's life. So how they feel about you is that you came in, you know, like a wrecking ball type energy. You changed their life. You changed their mind on something. And it feels as if they know the powerful impact you have in their life, which feels like it's, it's, it's leading them towards, um, choosing you. You know, I know some of you may not like that concept of being chosen, but maybe choosing you or choosing to invest in you. All right. Um, a lot of you are dealing with someone who is very spiritual themselves. There's a lot of strong energy, like they get the message that's being sent to them that they need to make a decision or they need to do something about these feelings for you. And so good karma for how they feel about you. They feel like you're a good vibe. This person feels like, you know, if they handle you and they handle their, this situation in the right way, this can reflect good on them, their character, their energy. So your inspiration for them to do the right thing, plain and simple. It just feels like, again, there's some sort of complicated situation that they can't easily break free from or get themselves out of where it feels like they're being tested to figure out a way to do what's right for everybody involved. And that's where the tricky part is. And only you have been able to sort of like come in and make them feel this, right? Um, like there has to be some sort of sacrifice or some sort of um, um, strong decision, clear decision made before they can move forward with you for real. So talk it out. This person feels like you're easy to talk to. They feel like having a conversation with you is something that they're unafraid of. Um, they like your communication. They feel like you are um, mature. You're, you're someone who comprehends things very well. And so they could be wanting to talk to you about this decision. Something important is definitely happening between you. Bad karma. I feel like this is coming through as what this person wants to avoid, which tells me there's something else going on. Okay. So I'm going to clarify all of these in the extended to get deeper into them. Big changes, good karma, talk it out and bad karma to see a little bit more clear why those messages came through. But let's get started. So the nine of potions, our nine of cups, this person really feels like you have them like floating in the air. You're, they're floating on cloud nine, right? Um, they get the sense that you're very special to them. They feel like, you know, everything they could want in a person exists in you from the outside to the inside, your character, your personality, your looks, um, how you carry yourself. They just feel really blessed to connect to you in that nine of cups because they feel like you're a wish come true um, in human form. And so this person is very, um, uh, very in awe of you, what is coming through. All right, let's see, because I didn't get the shuffle these the way that I wanted to. Um, this person definitely feels there's something magical about you. Um, let's see. Temperance. Yeah, there's definitely something here about this person feeling like you have something incredibly special um, about you that helps them feel balanced and in control of their life. Um, you're helping them feel like they have the best thing, you know, to ever happen to them in you. This person feels like you're good for them. This nine of cups mixed with that temperance is somebody who feels like you're medicine for them, right? Um, you're kind of like the solution to some of their problems here. You came in healing a lot of their issues. Uh, you guys may have like a really good relationship with this person because they feel like you're someone they don't want to screw things up with. You're very precious. They're handling you with care in this energy. So they they feel like you're like just this super special anomaly. I'm never going to get this opportunity again. I won the big prize, six of wands here. Let me like really do this the right way. I think that's why there's some emphasis there on good karma versus bad karma. They could feel like you're so special, angelic, um, unique, that if they wrong you, they're going to pay a big price for that. So um, what's temperance here? They're very faithful to you. Oh, this does not belong there. <laughs> All right. Let's try that again. What's temperance? Thank you so much. 
Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting the energy that this person is like, I better make it work <laughs> with group two, right? There's no other option, right? This person feels at peace with you. They feel like you're everything they've ever wanted in a person from the calmness you bring them to the peace of mind you help them obtain to the healing factors of, of your relationship. They really feel like you are a strong person to collaborate with to make things work with they could have had like some really like messed up relationships and so because there's a big emphasis here on peace and getting everything you want and how do why do i deserve you and it, it's kind of like they've never known this level of, of, of peace and, and goodness in their life or relationships. And so with you again, there's just, there's just a strong feeling that I got to make this work. Right. Which is why overall you guys definitely have this person in suspension. Like not only are you like, like not only are you a mystery that has them in suspense, right? There's something about that. Like they're waiting to see what's going to happen between you guys. They're waiting to see if you're going to switch up on them, right? Why are you so good? Why are you so angelic? But there's also this energy like, um, you know, there's a sense they have to deserve you. And again, until they do something important, maybe they don't, or maybe they don't, won't deserve you or something, but let's see why we have the magician. Some strong energies coming through right now are Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces. What's the magician? Gemini, Virgo. Two of Cups. So how this person feels is that you have transformed their views on love. For some of you, it's as simple as this person loves you in a very big, magical, grand way. Okay, it's very dramatic. It's very intense. And for others of you, or this could be the same energy, this person feels like you have transformed their life and made them a better person and made them a better partner. Um, you have made them a better lover for a lot of you. They feel a very strong emotional connection to you. They care about you more than I feel they've cared about anybody. They're invested in the success of this relationship more than they've ever been invested. Um, and they feel like, you know, what they're picking up on is that you feel the same. Um, how this person feels about you, they could feel like there's some element of they're in a trance. You know, you've put them in this trance to make them fall in love with you. There's something very powerful about what you got going on where if nobody's ever made me feel like this, if I've never had this type of in love experience, what is it about group two? You're very special. What's this two of cups? Mm, the night. Of one. So this is strongly giving passion. This isn't giving any sort of like player vibes for me. This isn't giving any sort of deceptive, you know, just wanting to use you. This is somebody who's fully like entranced in you. And possibly you took this person out of their player days. But look at that focus of that Knight of Wands on that two of cups. I want love. I have real love or I have the, the chance to have real love with um group two. I'm not going to ruin that and screw that up. Also, the fact that these are coming through with the magician only you had the power to possibly turn this person into this committed, invested, faithful person, right? Maybe they were running around and not committed, non-committal and cheating on people and just like being really unfair um, to romantic partners, which is why we could have that sense of bad karma, which is why they could be in some sort of like state of confusion about your connection. Why do I deserve group two, right? I've hurt people, you know, I'm hurting somebody right now dealing with group two type energy. So these are messages that I do go into in the extended a little deeper, but I just find it very interesting that this Knight of Wands is facing this two of cups, very invested. This can also sort of represent somebody on the outside of the relationship when it comes to their feelings. They're very still considerate of whatever that energy is. And, and, and as much as they want you, as much as it looks like they're going to get you or have you, they feel like they know they got to deal with something first, a blockage or, you know, again, a third party type vibe. We'll go into it in the extended. Um, so judgment, 
This person feels like you are their soulmate. This person feels like you are the one that they want to be with. And then <laughs> I can't help but pick up, you know, with the cemetery, the vibes of till death, do you part, right? This person may want to marry you. You may be the first person. I'm getting a, like a lot of first energies from them, I'm getting like a lot of like, I've never felt like this before. So let's say they've actually kind of like came to the, like some sort of conclusion on their own. I actually want to like, be with this person um forever for the rest of my life right something like that this judgment here this person feels like they deserve you they also feel like they don't understand why literally two of swords they feel like they understand that you came into their life for a very important reason to build with you, to, to live a long life with you. The Two of Swords is also an indication that they question if this is something they've earned now, deserve now, something like that. What's this Two of Swords? Let's go ahead and get into it. The Ace of Cups. Yeah. Um, if anything, this person knows they love you, but they may not feel like they, they've earned you, right? They know that you're here for them. They know that they can make you happy. They know that they can respect you and be faithful to you. Emperor energy, they could feel a sense of like protectiveness over you. They could feel a great deal of responsibility here. But there is absolutely something about this feeling like a soul connection to them that makes them question, why was I chosen to feel this good? All right. It doesn't feel like a big energy. Like it doesn't feel like something that stops them from treating you well. It just feels like something they think about occasionally and they don't even overthink it. They just get in their head um, sometimes and go, man, I can't believe group two is in my life. I can't believe I feel this good. I can't believe I have this love in my life. This person is really like, it's like they know this is a big deal. But they're up for the challenge. They're up for the task. They feel like they've never felt this way before about you. You could be their first love. You could be their first soulmate love. But there's absolutely something about it where they're recognizing I'm responsible for group two now or I'm responsible for this now and I cannot screw this up. I'll be very interested to see what comes through with bad karma in the extended because I feel like this person is um following their true soul path and, and it really feels like they know they can't screw this up with you. They can't hurt you. Um, so the six of potions, the six of cups energy, again, confirming soulmate, again, confirming, um, they could feel like they knew you in a past life. I don't feel like they would have shared that with you yet. They just may say things like, Man, like we really do con we really do click. Like you really are like the best part. Like they may just say things that hype you up. And it feels like it's coming from that sincere place of them recognizing you as a past life soulmate, as a soulmate in this life, but as somebody that they absolutely trust with their heart. Um Lisa Wands. There's the emperor again. I feel like y'all are dealing with a divine counterpart for sure. Your partner is divine, okay? Your partner is angelic themselves in a way. They've been through a lot, which is a why a lot of them could also feel like, why do I deserve you? They could be older than you. But how they feel about you, yeah, you make them feel young again. That's what it is. The six of cups with that ace of wands, you bring excitement and inspiration into their life. You make them feel young again. How they feel about you is you're like this incredible um spark of a human that motivates them to do better to do things on a larger grander scale you know some of them may be entertaining changing jobs or finding a job that makes more money because now um for a lot of them the first time in their life they're considering getting married or considering having a family with you so you just like put a lot of new feelings and emotions into this person <clears throat> into this person and they're giving you credit for it what's this ace of wands with this six of cups for how they feel about you <laughs> um the eight of pentacles yep 
They're like, I got to work harder. I got to make more money. I got to make something happen. Like this person went straight from like, this is a soul connection, but I got to realistically make this work in a real life way. They really feel invested in giving you the best life possible. Remember, they feel a sense of responsibility for you now. They feel like they have to do right by you now. And so that feels like there's something about, oh, got to get a new job, got to make more money, got to invest in this business. I got to put more into my investments. I got to start saving. Like there's just something where they equated this soul connection to something they got to make work in the real world. And so they also got to invest in that as much as they're invested in their feelings for you and making you feel good and making you feel this divine connection is real. They also got to invest in taking care of what feels like a long term relationship that you guys are building or could build with one another. So they're incredibly invested. They feel like you're worth more than their time. You're worth, you know, I'm even picking up, they would do anything for you. They would sacrifice for you. That's another energy coming through with this um, suspension, this hangman energy. They would um, sacrifice a lot to make you happy. Materially and spiritually. So we have the five of wands here. Um, in the five of candles. And so what I'm picking up is that this person burns with a lot of passion, right? To the point where they would fight for you. Again, this is someone who was not against like protecting you um, physically, um, even violently if they have to, if you're disrespected. I don't get competitive energy from these five candles burning. What I get is somebody who is making it very clear. This is something you are the light in their life. You are um, worth, uh, you know, making sure this, this, what y'all got stays lit, stay, this fire stays burning and they'll do anything to make that happen. There's a lot of passion they feel for you. Um, I feel this person saying, you know, I'll take on anybody for you. Mm, Queen of Pentacles, they're loyal. They are loyal. They are very loyal to you. All right. They would do anything for you. That's how they feel about you. You're a prize. You're their queen, their counterpart, queen of pentacles here. Um, when I say invested, that's an understatement. This person is like, I will give it all up. I will give it all up. I'll do anything for group, group two. What's this queen of pentacles? You have Capricorn showing up. Also Taurus Virgo. Yep, Knight of Cups. This person is in love. They're probably like, I've never been this loyal before. <laughs> I've never had the urge to not want to cheat on somebody. They're also letting it be known in this Five of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups energy. Nobody can come in between us. I'm going to fight for it, right? I'm going to make sure people know that they cannot mess with this relationship, that it's far too special. Um, this Knight of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles here is an energy of someone who feels like, um, I'm going to always give my heart. I don't care about being vulnerable. I'm going to always show my soft side, be vulnerable, give you whatever you want type energy. I mean, they are invested in every way here for how they feel about you. This person is in love. They're definitely in love. So, um, yeah, the six of cups again. You're their cup of tea, <laughs> you know, you're perfect for them. Let me um, grab a, a Oracle message here. I am going to grab more of these in the extended as well as clarify big changes, good karma, talk it out, bad karma. I'm also clarifying all these tarot messages here because I want to go deeper into your person's feelings for you because I really like what's coming through um, for how they feel about you and the intensity um, I'm also going to take a look at how your person thinks you feel about them, group two, how they tell people they feel about you. And I'm also going to take a look at y'all's mutual feelings for one another. And I'll also ask your person, how do you feel about group two? And in their own words, see what comes through. Let's take a look. Um, <laughs> 
two came out. I'll, I'll take a look at the other one in the extended, but, and I think you'll like it, but this one says paradise. It says happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So like I say, y'all probably have something really good with this person. Um, based on what's coming through in the extended, their feelings for you run deep. Their feelings for you are pretty pure here. Um, they're invested, they're loyal, they're faithful, they're happy. They want to make you happy. They want to do whatever you want. So so we'll go deeper into this paradise. And also what we'll flipped out with that, which is also an indicator of how good this person feels about you. I'm going to grab more of those in the extended and clarify um, again, as well as taking a look at the other energies I want to take a look at. So group two, I am headed to the extended. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you all so much. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading, check out the details in the description box to see how you can book that with me. And don't forget to take a look at the exclusive content as well, available only for my Patreons and on Gumroad. Hi, Group 3. It's the Sun Sage. And thank you so much for tuning in to your next pick a card reading. How does your person feel about you right now? But first, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in, um, for liking the video, subscribing to the channel. Um, for those of you that have become Patreons, I thank you. For those of you that um, uh, participate in the extended readings, um, who have gotten the exclusive readings on Gumroad, I just thank you so much. Also, those are things that are still available to every everyone all right so just take a look at the description box um details so group three how does your person feel about you right now where i want to tap into current energies to see how this person is feeling about you someone you are connected to someone you're in a relationship with or you know you just have this deep soul connection with how are they feeling all right so let's go ahead and take a look at that all right so First things first, you guys have selected the green calcite. That is what you were drawn to. I always encourage you to take a look at the meaning of the crystal you are drawn to to see why you may have been drawn to that crystal and what the properties of it are. All right. So let's go ahead and get it. Oh, I'm sorry. You have the mermaid tarot. And before I get into the tarot, I definitely want to grab some themes first. Okay. For how your person feels about you. So let's see how your person feels about you. Group three. All right. So let's see what comes through right now. How does group three's person feel about them? Thank you so much. Okay, we have Sweet Reminder. How does your person feel about you right now, Group 3? Hmm. Okay, tough love. They don't like that. I I definitely feel like they, they feel like you're giving them tough love and they don't like it, but they know that it's coming from a place of love for sure. How do they feel about you? Fall back. All right, so how does this person feel about you, group three? Um, try again. Yeah, so your person is, they feel like they're being pretty realistic here. They're they are taking note of the situation and realizing that you may have had enough of some things. You may have put up these boundaries that they have to respect right now. So they're getting some sort of energy from you, I feel, that's impacting their feelings. Um, this, person, this person definitely feels like you are someone special to them and you're someone that they care about. But they're giving you space for the simple fact that there's a possibility they couldn't respect your boundaries. But let's see what the tarot says, and then I'll get into those messages. How does your person feel about you, group three? Knight of Swords. All right. The Magician. How does group three's person feel about group three? Thank you. King of Cups. How do they feel about you? The eight of wands. Your person is funny. Because I feel like they love you. Yeah, the Empress. I feel like they love you, but I almost feel like how they feel about you is like, Dad, you're putting me right at the starting line again. You know, I have to start over with you. Page of Wands, we got to be friends first, or we got to take it slow, or we can only, you know, sort of just like 
communicate with each other every once in a while. There's something here where it feels like how your person feels about you with the page of wands here at the bottom is they know they've been reduced, right? They know, like, not like you don't value them, but they know that there's been some behavior that they demonstrated where, and you could even just be testing them. Let's say they didn't do anything horrible. They didn't overstep some boundaries. Some of you are just in a position where you're really trying to figure out what this person's real motives, intentions, and feelings are. And so you've kept them at somewhat of a distance emotionally, but it doesn't change that they feel excitement and passion for you. It doesn't change that they still desire to connect to you and communicate with you. And so um, I feel like a lot of you are dealing with someone who you feel like you like and, and you want some type of connection with on a deeper level. But you got to make sure this person's head is in the right place and you got to make sure this person is really all about you because I feel like a lot of you are um, willing to open up a little bit more to this person. You just got to make sure they're real. So how they feel about you is sweet reminder or sweet reminder. So they could literally feel like you're a sweetheart, right? Um, they could feel like you've been very good to them, very sweet to them. <clears throat> I also feel like this person is saying that they feel like you are a reminder that not everybody is like you. There's something about this sweet reminder that comes feeling like this person had to get like some sort of wake up call or some sort of reality check that it doesn't get better than you. OK, so I definitely feel like sweet reminder is this person being reminded that you are not going to be able to be replaced, duplicated, imitated. And so if they really want this to work with you or if they really want to maintain this relationship with you, they've got to put in the work. Um, tough love. A lot of them feel like you have incredibly strong boundaries right now. Um, and so how they feel is that, you know, a part of the tough love is that, and this could be both of you, really caring about each other or really loving each other, but... Neither of you want to get hurt. And so there's something here about some blockages with that love. Maybe you feel as if this person doesn't express or show that love that they feel. And maybe they feel the same thing about you. But both of you are just really strong in your boundaries, not wanting to be taken advantage of. And so that has cause for a lot of you um, some type of scenario where you guys are seemingly in a standoff, but you want the same thing from one another. You're just both very weary of getting hurt by someone. All right. And so we also have fallback. This person feels like how they feel about you is that they got a lot of respect for you. Okay. They have a lot of respect for you. They have a lot of respect for your space and, and, and what you feel like you're setting as boundaries right now. And so if, if you ask them to fall back or again, if you got like some sort of blockage, they, they get it. They're not going to force their way into your life. They're not going to make you. Um, sort of like pay attention to them or give them attention in some way, but they definitely feel a sense of patience coming through with this fallback where they feel like they know right now may not be the time to pursue or to, to take action, but they are going to try again because they feel like you're very valuable to them. So this try again for how they feel about you. Look, they may not have succeeded, you know, like I feel like for some of you, this is someone you just met. Um, page of wands here. This is someone you're getting to know. This is someone you just met or someone who's come back into your life after some disappointments. And so the energy is they're starting from scratch. They got to make this work this time around. And the try again feels like how they feel about you is, oh, I definitely want to try this again, right? They realize where we saw, they're not going to find anyone like you and it's best for them to make it work for you. So I will clarify sweet reminder, tough love, fall back and try again in the extended to go deeper into those messages for how they feel about you. But let's get into the tarot. So night of swords. I feel like your person is still very eager and excited about you. I feel like there's a strong message here that they want to communicate to you more effectively. I think you guys have some communication issues. Okay. Um, 
I think this is one of those things where you talk into your friends and you're like, I mean, I know he loves me or I know she loves me, but you know, I, I just hate when they do things like this or I hate this. And so there's a great deal of passion between you. Um, there's an excitement and um, eagerness for both of you to get closer. I think you guys just have different ways of doing things. You both challenge each, each other in ways that other people may not have challenged you. And so you're just trying to really deal with like each other's characteristics and each other's other's personalities, um, something that feels like different for, for you both. But what's the Knight of Swords for how they feel about you? This person feels very um, eager to talk to you about something, their feelings. Yep, Ten of Cups, their feelings, because this Knight is in all this water. Um, and they're literally trying to keep their head above water. But the Ten of Cups is, is I feel like this person feels like you make them happy and they kind of say it in a weird way or they don't know how to say it at all. There's the Knight of Swords again. So that's literally like the message of the Knight of Swords, a clumsy communicator, someone who has good intentions or fights for what's right or or does the right <laughs> does the right thing, maybe in a wrong way type thing. And so I feel like that's kind of symbolic of this person. You know, they have feelings for you, right? They may go about it in the wrong way. You know that this person cares for you, but they may not show it in the way that you need them to. And so I definitely feel the effort and energy this person has for you that feels like you make them happy. How they feel about you is that you make them feel fulfilled. And um, there's a great deal of pleasure here. Uh, you make them feel a lot of pleasure as well, whatever that will mean. Um, it doesn't have to be sexual, but look, they got a lot of like <laughs> stamina here when it comes to you. Um, this is someone very, um, like I can't get enough. Like they're very in this energy hyper and I, I feel like they can't get enough of you. What's this 10 of cups or how they feel about you? Um, the empress. So yeah, um, this person feels like you complete them. They may feel like you're a little too much for them sometimes, but they're not like turned away by that. They're actually more encouraged to like, be what they need to be in order to keep you. This person feels like you're abundant, you're beautiful. And again, how you make them feel is a, almost a sense of like accomplishment and success because they were able to connect to you. Um, they feel like they, they respect and revere you, um, in this energy. And so their feelings come through as like they want to, um, be with you long term. They want to have you in their life long term. This person could feel like your marriage material and they may feel like they're not ready for marriage in that night of swords or like they've been hostile towards marriage in other relationships or other areas of their life. But with you, it feels like something where you are representing I can if I if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it with group three. Okay. They, they almost feel like, okay, I didn't feel like I could make this happen with other people, but like even that night of swords kind of like rushing into commitment with you literally with the 10 of cups and the empress, I can make you my partner. You know, I can do this. So they feel excited about what they're capable of believing in and ultimately the action they're capable of taking, because I feel like they never been motivated and inspired to take this action with nobody else before. All right. Some of the strong energies coming through for now, Taurus, um, Libra, you also have have Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio, Virgo, uh, yeah, and fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So the magician, um, I feel like how this person feels about you is you just make them feel like they can do anything. Some of you almost feel like you have a mentor apprentice relationship with this person where you're showing them how to love you or you're showing them how to embrace their passion sexually you may even been helpful to them in some way you know for some of you but I feel like with the magician you have a special touch and so how they feel about you is that you have a lot you have the upper hand in this connection you have a lot more power than they do you could have a lot more control of yourself your emotions your passions than they do and so that could be something you're helping them with but that magician is very clearly um, a strong passion towards making your dreams come true. This person has a dream um, they want to make come true with you. Princess of Swords in the reverse. <laughs> 
I think this person has been a very bad student of how to love you. I think that's what I'm getting. It's kind of adorable. I do feel there's love here. I do feel like there's an eagerness to, to have you in their life long term. But a lot of you would gladly admit to a source they're not going about it the right way. They're not doing it right. They don't communicate right. They don't express right or not at all. And it just feels like you're having a hard time taking them seriously, whereas they're looking at you like somebody who is, you know, the perfect person for them. So it it just feels some of you are dealing with an ex. OK, and, and I do get that. Some of you are dealing with somebody who's like a big red flag for you. You've already given it a try. You don't want them anymore, but that's not going to stop them from trying type thing. Um, but overall, the person most of you are dealing with is somebody who is not going to give up on this relationship. The princess and the swords in the reverse feels like how this person feels about you. Um, they could complain a lot to your face or they could like make things seem like a bigger deal than it is, but they kind of have that energy of behind your back. Oh my God, I'm so in love with group three. Oh my God, group three just really turns me on. Like to your face, they could be like, I hate when you're, you have an attitude. I hate when you're, you know, like they could just really like come through harsh in their communication, but you know, it feels like they believe you can change or you guys can work it out. And ultimately they're still incredibly attracted to you. What's this princess of swords in the reverse? Thank you with the magician, the nine of swords. Yeah. I don't like their communication, I think with you or their express. And I think that's, I think you guys are coming through kind of like, I don't like how they talk to me or I don't like how they express. Like there's something um about their communication or expression. It's just not, where you guys are like level wise. And so that's a struggle in this relationship for sure. But the energy is there. The energy is that you make this person nervous. They're intimidated by you. They really have strong feelings for you. They're not really sure how to get the words out. They don't know what to say, how to say it. Um, they definitely feel a sense of you're better than them or, mm, you know, I mean, maybe it's not they think you're better than them, but I, I you know, I do feel Y'all are just more disciplined, controlled, and advanced in this area of, of, of life. And they are really like struggling to like be on your level. Um, this person has screwed up a few times. So how they feel, they kind of feel like, I want to say they're a fuck up. Like they probably are like, man, group three be giving me so many chances or group three has, you know, group three told me if I forget this event or I stand them up this time. Like there's just instances where this person has really like let you down, but it's not really a reflection of the great love that they have for you. They're just not focus. They're just not disciplined here. And I feel that. Um, and how they feel about you is that you're trying to teach them the lesson. You know, some of you may not be talking to them. Some of you may have told them you're done. They feel like that's not true. They feel like you're trying to teach them a lesson that they need to go harder. They need to be more expressive. They need to get it together. And so what they feel is love. What they feel is compassion and understanding for you. They get where they're messing up at. They understand why you're mad or upset or frustrated in this energy. Um, they also, again, can't help the fact that they're still in love with you or still attracted to you. It, it's kind of like an opposites attract type of thing, or it's kind of like a, you guys push each other's buttons, but you know, there's real love there. So what's this King of Cups about for how they feel about you? They stubbornly love you, <laughs> whatever that means for you. They have a stubborn sort of love for you. They're very resistant to it in a way, but it's all they want. They hate that you make them feel like this, basically. What's this King of Cups? Yep, the moon. You hate. They hate that you got them all in their feelings, but they are, right? How they feel about you is that you are the source of them purging all of these intense emotional feelings. And it almost feels to them like this is 
someone trying to manipulate or control me. The seven of swords here. This is someone that I may can't trust. This is someone that is using their beauty and the fact that I like them to try to take advantage of me. Like this person tells themselves anything, but the reality is they really do love you and they're not great at expressing it. They even lied about it. For some of you, you asked them or y'all had a conversation and they were like, no, I don't want to be in love or no, I don't feel this way. And they do. And they hate that you have that impact on them, making them feel this vulnerable, making them feel almost like they can't control their feelings no matter how hard they try. Pisces energy showing up. Queen of Pentacles, it's been you that's made them feel this way. And I would even say with death, it's been you that's made them change their life or their feelings and views on love and relationships. But this person, how they feel about you, they they give off this energy like they ha they haven't felt this way before. And that's why they're acting kind of like how they're acting. You guys may be getting mixed vibes from them. Um, You may feel like they hate you. You may feel like, how can someone love me? And they're acting like this. They don't know either <laughs> with the moon. Um, They don't know how to control their emotions. They don't know how to manage them. They don't know how to disperse them. And so the queen of pentacles is almost a frustration with you, um, the, more, the more mature, most likely feminine energy in the connection that you have had this impact. Um, But they know that it's due to you. They've never been this out of sorts before for how they feel about you. They do feel like you love them. Like I said, I feel like this person knows you love them or you care about them. And that's why sometimes you may be hard on them. Um, and you are forcing them to change in some way. That's really important if they're going to be with you. All right. Scorpio again, also Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. So we have the eight of wands. How your person feels about you right now? Again, there's just like a lot. <laughs> so there's a lot of sexual energy coming from your person. Okay. How they feel about you. You arouse them. <clears throat> You definitely turn them on. They're sexually attracted to you, but they're also emotionally invested in a way. Um, it just feels like some of you may be a, kind of like in a situation ship or dealing with somebody who was hoping that this would stay physical, but it hasn't been able to. They're invested now. They care now. They love you now. They're in love now. So this is all stemmed from what started, you know, in, in some cases as a sexual relationship, um, as a physical attraction. But this person feels like a lot of what you guys have is genuine, pure, like momentum for something real to take place. What's this eight of wands? It's the, it's the fool. They're, they're so eager. For some of you, you may feel like this person treats you like a game or something not serious. And I get that. There is a naivete and a foolishness about them, for sure. Um, they like what they're feeling. I will say that about you. And yet, the juvenile way in which they express it or withhold expression when it comes to that can be very frustrating to what feels to be you, the Empress, Queen of Pentacles. I don't have time for this, right? I need something more like established. And this person is just so, they play too much. And they're not, again, focused. And a lot of them are trying to keep this on a physical level. But again, they feel forced to change because of you. And they're trying to resist it and it's not working. Aquarius here. What's this uh, full energy with the Eight of Wands? The Four of Pentacles. This is a very stubborn person you're dealing with. Their feelings are here. Their feelings are um, very, I feel, vulnerable and fiery and passionate for you. And they can't let you go, but they also feel like they have a really hard time keeping you um, four of pentacles with the fool, the eight of wands, you know, how they feel about you, you deserve better. <laughs> you know, I think they even see themselves as someone who's way too inexperienced for this, but you know, you're an empress. You're the best they've ever had. <laughs> like, they're not 
ready to give up yet. They feel like you have a lot more patience for them. You have a lot more tolerance for them. So they're going to try again, which literally came through. Try again. What's this Empress for how they feel about you? Group three. The star. Yeah. They feel like you guys are supposed to be together. <laughs> they feel like all of this abundance, beauty, love, sexiness group three has is all for me. You may have an air sign and you're an earth sign or something, or you're a water sign and they're a fire sign. There's something about the energies technically not being compatible, but it is <laughs> in like this interesting way. Um, you could be older than them too, right? Some of you could be parents, maybe they're not. So they still kind of live this life where they don't have to think or worry about anything else but themselves. There's something different, but how they feel about you, it is coming through kind of maternal. Um, you teach them, you nurture them, you take care of them, and they feel like this is how it's supposed to be. Um, they feel like you guys are meant to be together. They feel like you have been an incredibly healing source for them, right? Sometimes this person doesn't feel their best. Sometimes this person doesn't believe in themselves and you've given them reason to. So you're definitely influential for how they feel about you. They feel like you'd make a great parent or you are a great parent in the Knight of Pentacles. This person, how they feel about you, you're just more structured, disciplined, mature than they are, <laughs> you know? I don't think they have any issue admitting that. They, they, they got feelings where it feels a little like immature and just like, I've never done this before. I've never been with somebody like this before. And you guys are like, calm down, like get it together. But it's cute a little, <laughs> you know? I do feel like this person respects you a great deal. Um, I do get the energy. They don't want anyone else but you. Or some of you, I do pick up how they feel about you is how they felt about someone in their past um, that they also wanted it to work with, but it didn't work out. And so they're going to do their darndest to make it work with you because you're special or something. You have Virgo showing up, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, this person feels like um, they do want a long-term relationship with you or they're willing to give it a try. I think that's more realistic, right? They don't shun the idea of y'all being in a relationship at all. They just may feel like I'm going to mess this up, but they definitely feel like you have potential for that with one another. Um, in the extended, I am going to clarify, sweet reminder, tough love, fall back and try again to see how this person feels about you with those messages. I'm also going to clarify all of these tarot messages to go deeper. Um, I'm going to take a look at how this person thinks you feel about them, group three. I'm going to take a look at um, what this person tells people they feel about you and what y'all's mutual feelings for each other are. I'm also going to take a look at um, messages from your person in their own words for how they feel about you. But I'm going to grab one message now for how this person feels about you and um, take a deeper look in the extended so how do they feel about you with the um, love oracle here? Kiss says, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. That's basically everything we've gotten from your person so far. Um, they are in love. It's a cute kind of crush type energy. But this person feels like um, they just need to grow up. They just need to meet you where you are instead of trying to have you meet them where they are. And it could work. Um, I feel where this person, how they feel about you with kisses they've grown very accustomed and used to your physical um in like your physical like nature with each other and i feel like sometimes they just want to leave it there but it's time for this connection to evolve and so we'll explore these energies in the extended group three i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in um if you are headed to the extended i will join you there and thank you for joining me there don't forget to hit the like and subscribe everybody i appreciate you all so much if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me make sure you check out those details in the description box and i am headed to the extended now